Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for detour number 49, and this is, as you probably heard, Exapunks. This is another Sactronics game that was released yesterday at the time of recording, uh, which was the 9th of August 2018, in case you are far from uh, far into the future. And this is similar to other Sactronics games, it's that, it's that it's centered around programming. But as I understand it, and I'm going into this pretty much completely blind, except that I know that it is a Sactronics game, of course, and that it includes uh, biological hacking, so to speak. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure what that entails, but we'll probably find out. So we are going to uh, first preface this with that at the time of release, this game is technically in early access, but it was released a bit early into early access because it's pretty much done according to uh, what I've heard. So it should be like feature complete, maybe some uh, details are missing or something like that. And the, the menu mu music repeats on a loop as you could hear there but let's get into this okay so we have two options here and I don't know what these are uh, this is a computer terminal obviously we have a phone we have a something called a tech constellation 2 let's let's try the computer first We've connected to Exapunks. Play cutscene. Uh, so this is the level select, presumably. Meeting with Nivas. Uh, we have a meeting. Find a source for bootleg medication. Let's play the cutscene, I suppose. Someone's at the door. I can't remember. Did I ask them to come up? Things have been hazy. Every day, more of my body is turned into junk. Hey. hey, can you hear me? I heard you were looking for some medicine for the phage. Looks like you definitely need it. That's right. Nivas. That's her, presumably. Said they could find anything. Maybe this is just a courier. Even bootleg medication. So... I do have a source. I know where to get it. Oh no, this is Nibas. Okay. It's cheaper than the real deal, but it's still gonna be priced. Oh, kind of cut that off a little bit. Whoops. Nibas pauses and looks me in the eye. The going rate is 700 a dose. You need to take one dose every day. Okay. So that's probably going to be a part of the challenge of the game, earning enough money to get uh, like at least 700 a day for those doses otherwise presumably we will die yeah that's dollars sorry i don't set the prices i'm just a courier yeah. so i was technically correct it's not like any of that money goes to me anyway if you do get the money give me a call all right so we're going to have to find work. This is some kind of chat thing, which we can't really interact with, apparently. Uh, workhouse installed program. Perform simple tasks to earn money at home. Okay. I kind of want to see what this is. Okay, this is the, the options menu. Okay. How do I exit out of this? Ah, there, okay. So let's do this. Ooh, okay. This looks, uh, commercial. You'll be shown images of receipts generated in the course of normal everyday business and will enter them digitally for bookkeeping and reimbursement purposes. Save a busy executive a minute or two. Okay, transcribe the items. All right, data entry basically. 
At least I can use tab. I wonder if you get... Um, if you get less money if you make mistakes. Probably. Shift tab doesn't work very well. I like the background sounds. Very atmospheric. Presumably, I'm not going to transcribe that. Wow. Easy money indeed. Wow. A whole 10 cents. Uh, who's this? Congratulations. You only need to do 6,999 more of these, and you'll have enough for today. I sincerely hope that I don't have to do that. I mean, I... I'm guessing I don't. Who is this? Don't worry about that right now. You need that medication to stay alive, right? Yep. Well, guess what? I can get it to you. You'll need to start hacking again, though. One hack, one dose. Easy. Deal? Um... I've forgotten how. I, I guess. Remember. Knock, knock. Meeting with Gast. Okay. So we have more users logging in. Gast is in the list, so presumably she will pop up here and say stuff eventually. Okay, this is a cutscene. Someone's at the door again. An old friend, Gast. I knew his real name once, but that's gone now. Okay, so I thought she would be Gast, but apparently not. Hey, came by to give you something. Gast hands me a small booklet. It's made of real paper. Apparently it's something called Trash World News. I can't hack like I used to. Whatever edge I had, it's gone now, but I had to keep doing something. Something to keep the culture alive, you know? Computers are running everything these days. Before long, human beings aren't even gonna have a say. So now I equip people with knowledge. The knowledge to make a computer do what you want on your terms. Anyway, I won't keep you. I know you like to be alone. Hope you like what you see in the zine. Okay. Uh, okay. This game uses printed scenes for technical reference, storytelling, and general attitude. Oh, the game's got attitude, does it? Interesting. There are two issues unlocked at different points in the game. We recommend you print and assemble the scenes for the most authentic and enjoyable Exapunks experience. However, we have also included a digital version with a screen-friendly layout. To print the scenes, select the correct PDF for your paper size and print them as double-sided documents. Depending on the program, you may need to select an actual size option rather than fit so the pages aren't shrunk. After printing, stack the pages in order, staple through the middle to create the spine, and fold them to create a booklet. If you printed the A4 version, trim along the left and right edges to remove the excess paper. Enjoy your scenes. Okay, so I'm going to go with the digital version. Oh. Okay. 
Right. That opens in a PDF reader, which has appeared on my right monitor. So, well, that's kind of annoying because that's blocking OBS, which means I can't see the recording time anymore. Uh, we'll ignore that for now. Just go back into the game. So that's that menu. I kind of would have liked if they'd implemented it or included it in the game. Would have been a lot better for recording purposes. Uh, learn to explore the networks and leave no trace. All right. Would you look at that? That scene's got a hacking tutorial in it. How about that? Funny coincidence, huh? Isn't it? Uh, nice work. Thanks. This is just a taste of my power. Let's continue. Okay, so... We'll see if we can get through this without me referencing the, the scene, as it's called. We'll have to experiment a little bit, perhaps. Oh, apparently it requires typing and it's not uh, block based or like a piece, like a command piece type thing like previous games have been. That's uh, probably going to be a bit of a hindrance when I have absolutely no idea, so I'm probably going to have to um, refer to the tutorial. So, link, grab, link, drop. Okay. What exactly is the outbox? Okay, let's try what the tutorial says, which is basically this, or exactly this. Link 800, grab 200, and link 800 again, and then drop and halt. So, 800 seems to be this bit here. And this bit there also says 800. And then 200 is this file here, I presume is what that is. So let's play, I suppose. Oh, okay. I'm not entirely sure what is going on. Um, right. Let's let's step through it and see if we can see what is going on. So link grab link drop, halt. Okay, so this is the out box. I'm not, not sure. Oh, okay. I see, right. So link, it's, it starts out in this area here. And then this is a link. And it has the address, I suppose, 800. And so uh, doing link 800 causes the uh, our little machine or little drone or whatever it is called um, it causes it to move through this link into this area and then it ha there's a file here called 200 so we grab 200 which is this thing and then we link 800 again which is now this link here connecting us to this box or this area and then we drop whatever we are holding which happens to be this file and then we halt the program which causes it to stop
start over basically and then it runs it 200 times so yeah I guess that's that so let's return to the desktop that's pretty straightforward uh, I can see everything you know everything on your computer well there isn't much to see there isn't that's what I just said I expected you to be sitting on all kinds of secrets it's all right though we'll find plenty more okay intro and outro Right, so that's just the things she said. We could replay them. Uh, so we have another Trash World news. Learn to edit files and manipulate values. People or animals are often motivated by the anticipation of a reward. This is true. Are you anticipating the medication as a reward? I guess. Yeah. Well, keep it up and you'll get it soon. Your reward, I mean. Processing. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Uh, add the first two values of file 200. Multiply the result by the third value and then subtract the fourth value. Append the results to the end of the file and then move it to the out box. Okay, so I'm going to have to... I have no idea how to do any of that, so I'm going to have to refer to the manual again. I, I guess I'm going to bring it over here, and we can look at it together, which is a bit more interesting. So this up here was the first bit I saw used to solve the first puzzle so uh, yeah so this is the second part we have reading and writing files so we have copy addition multiplication subby which is subtraction presumably XFX calculate X minus F and write the result to X. Presumably X represents a file. Maybe. So we need to do this. So link 800, grab 200, copy F. What is F though? Okay, so I'm going to take this to the side so I can see it. And then we'll do link 800. We know what that does. Then grab 200. So that's going to grab the file. So we need to have a file equipped, I suppose, to use it. And then copy FX. Uh, let's see what that does. So link grab and then copy FX. That seemed to have selected that, but I'm not sure how it got to that. Oh, okay. 
so we have a storage thing here which stored the first value of the file and so copy f so f is presumably the held item in this case and then it stored the first value in x maybe so if we add the addy part x f x so it calculate x plus f and write the result to x add the first two values of the file 200 so we're picking up 200 we're storing the first value and then when we add e we add the stored the value we copied into the x storage container i suppose and then we uh, add that to the second value which is selected next which we refer to as f because it refers to this file and then we output that to x so we store it in our container so it'll replace 72. So let's see if that is what happens. We grab the file. It's now uh, our. It's now in F, and it selected the first value. So we're going to copy that into there, and then this should be replaced by 72 plus 52, whatever the result of that is. And it looks like that was correct. And then it selected the next value. Uh, and then we just multi subby and copy. So multi or molly actually. Uh, molly, because each command is four characters. XFX and then subby XFX and then copy XF which takes the last value stored in X and outputs it back into F, which is the file. So we'll put it at the end of the file. And then we're going to move to the last box using link 800 and then drop and again, halt. So this should do all of those things. So now we should see the value being added to the end, like so. And it took the value from X and put it at the end of the file. And then we move to the last box, to the out box, and then drop the file. And then the program is terminated. So then we're going to run through that. And, and that's pretty, pretty straightforward. So let's return to the desktop. Does it upset you that I will provide your medication only if you work for me? Well, that's kind of how employment works, isn't it? So not really. Right. It's an exchange, exchange of goods or services. Interesting. This is good data. Okay. Well, Let's move on to the next thing. What do you think of your life situation overall at the moment? What do you think about, what do you think of your life situation overall at the moment? Um, what? In other words, how happy are you? I suppose your response indicated you may not be in a position to self evaluate. I will take that into consideration. Recalibrating. Let's continue. Okay, so now we have two links. One is called 799 and it's called secret. File 199 contains exactly two values, a keyword and a number. 
Create a new file in the outbox and copy those two values to it, swapping their order so that the number is first. When you are finished, delete file 199. For help completing this task, see Gas walks you through it in the first issue of the, sin the sign. Okay. So. I think I can figure out this one on my own. So we need to, well, actually there's one missing piece. I don't know how to delete a file. Uh, I would expect the command to be uh, D-E-L-E -E or something like that. Uh, but first we, sh we pretty obviously have to link into the next area, then link into uh, 799 actually I don't it said we were supposed to create a new file I don't know how to do that either and we also need to I'm going to assume something will happen when we move into this area uh, let's refer to the manual again uh, let's bring it over here. Full size. Uh, communication between access. Okay, so I need to make two of them. Uh, okay, yeah. So this is also a one-way link, which means that because there's no exit address, once you've gone in there, you can't go back out. Right. So... Uh, make is the command to create a new file and delete is wipe okay I would not have figured that out probably uh, two X's can communicate with each other using the M register if one X R writes a value to the M register and another X R reads from the M register the value gets transmitted from the writer to the reader okay if an XI is reading the M register while no one is writing to it, or vice versa, it'll wait until another XI picks up the other end of the communication. You don't need to time it perfectly. Okay, that's good. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to create another XI. And this also needs to link 800. And then it's going to link 800, then make was the command right? Yeah. Uh, and it will be held. So we make and then link, you're going to go to 799 and you're going to grab 199 and then copy from F uh, to X. And then copy from F to M. And then you are going to, once you've made the file here, you're going to copy from M to F. Then you're going to, uh, you are going to copy from X to M. And then you are going to copy from M to F. And then you're going to drop, uh, you are going to wipe, and then term. Uh, what was the kill command again? Um, was it halt, right? It was halt, which I had totally not forgotten. Okay, so if this does what I think it does, we're going to step through this, so we step, they move through, there, you created a file, and then you're going to wait for M, that might not work. Uh, 
Okay, you grab the file. So you're going to copy X, or you're going to copy echo into X, like that. And then you're going to copy F into the M register. And you're sitting on this copy, presumably waiting for M to be written to. So now you copy the value into the global M. And then the other one received it, copied it into the file because we were supposed to re reverse the order. So now we're going to copy echo, which was, which is going to be the second value into the global register. And that is going to be put into the file. And then both are going to halt. And then we're going to run that through. And that should be what we need. Perfect. And I figured out how to do that myself. I just grabbed the commands from the booklet because I didn't know those. So yeah, how do you feel about it now? You're closer to the goal. Any change? Um, what do you really want? Just curious, that's all. Anyway, there's just one more tutorial to go. You're almost there. All right, I guess we'll run through the final tutorial and then I'm probably going to end the video. Yes, you can do it. This is positive encouragement. It is designed to increase activity in your prefrontal cortex. Uh, okay, I'm sure it is. It'd be better if I could see the effect directly, but I will estimate for now. I don't like that for now. I'm sure it will help. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Uh, file 200 contains exactly one number, N. Uh, create a new file in the outbox containing the numbers N through zero in decreasing order. When you're finished, delete file 200. Okay. So we're probably going to need to learn some new things to be able to do that. So let's go back here. So loops and conditionals. Your final task is to create a file that contains a sequence of numbers. To do this, you're going to want to use something called a loop. Yeah, I know what a loop is. Uh, which is where you repeatedly run a few lines of code until a stopping, a stopping condition is met. Here are some hints. Uh, okay, copy. Reset the X register to zero. Okay, so you can put in constants, which is interesting. Mark loop, define a label called loop. Uh, write 9999 to the held file. Why, why do we want to do that? Uh, add one to X, test if X equals 10 and store the result in T. Oh, so T is a test. It's just for tests, I'm guessing. Okay, let's pop this over here again. So presumably we just need to type exactly what is here. Copy zero X, mark loop, uh, copy 9999 to F and then addy x1x uh, test x equals 10 and then fjmp which I have no idea what that means loop so jump to loop if x does not yet equal 0 so if the test fails it executes this and jumps back to loop Okay, let's let's try this. 
or wait we actually this will actually not solve the puzzle I'm feeling kind of stupid right now this is not going to solve the puzzle we actually need to adapt this code to do what we want so we're going to want to link to 800, not 900, 800. And then we're going to grab 200. We'll pick up the file. Uh, oh wait. I think it might be easiest to just use two of these here. So, we're going to have a second one. It's going to link to 800. And then it's going to link to 800 again because we wanted to go to the out box. And then it's going to make a file. And then we're going to have, um, so, what we need is we need to copy from the file into X and then X needs to be zero. So we're going to subby one from X and then we're going to copy from X to M, which is the the global storage space. Uh, and I'm not sure what that is for F. What is F? All right, F is, F is the held file. Uh, we, don't want to do that. I don't know what why that is in there. Um, but once we have the file, this is going to copy from M into the file. And then it's going to drop. And then, uh, what was it again? The termination, was it halt, right? Halt. And then halt. So let's see what this does. It should, the file contains nine. I don't know if that changes, uh, but it should count down from nine. Actually, what was the goal? Uh, create a new file in the output box containing the numbers N through zero. Right, yeah. Okay, let's step through this and see what happens. So. XB moves in there, and then XA follows. XB moves up into the alt box. XB should create a file, and um, XB or XA should pick up that file. Correct. And then you are going to uh, XB is going to wait, and XA is going to copy the value from the file into X. Oh, uh, we actually need to copy. I think we need to do that before there because we need the nine to be sent to this file. So that is actually not going to send the nine. So that's going to become an eight. And then eight is going to go into the global register and then it's going to go into file 400. Okay, yeah, so we actually need to adjust this slightly where we actually uh, copy X to M before we do the subtraction. So now this should work like that. So we get nine there, and then that's going to decrease to eight. And then it's going to loop because X is not eight or X is not, um, zero yet 
So then it's going to copy the eight, which ends up, oh, shoot. Uh, the second, hmm, the second X that shuts down and halts because it's not doing a loop. Right, so after it's made the file, it should, we should mark a loop and then uh, once test m equals zero, uh, or if m does not equal zero, f m uh, f jump fail jump. I guess it's going to jump to loop. Okay, so there should. I think something went wrong there. So it stopped um, because it doesn't include the final zero. I'm guessing. So what we could do is just add a copy zero to, to file because we always know that the last number is going to be zero. Oh. Was it supposed, it was supposed to delete the file also. So what was the command for that again? Uh, it was something, I'm sure of that. No, not, not any of those. Uh, let's see. Where did that part go? I'm sure it said it's somewhere, but I can't for the life of me find where it says what the delete command was. All right, wipe. Right, so we need to wipe there. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't work. Uh, that's, uh, oh, maybe if we say that, wait, um, right. M never becomes zero because that doesn't send through the zero. So we should make that one instead. No? What happens? So they go through fine. Nine, seven, what? Oh, it skips every other number for some reason. That's slightly interesting. Why is it doing that? Why is it's it's resetting the M register sometimes for some reason? Is it when it reads? Thank you. 
Okay, I'm not sure what is happening. I don't know why it's skipping every other value. I don't see it. correctly I, why is it sitting so long there test M equals one Oh, is it because... Oh, it's because... It's, it's because M is none, so it doesn't have anything to test. What if I say F is zero instead, so the marked value should be zero in the file? What? Then it terminated early. Cannot read past end of file. Okay. Well, this video has gone on for long enough, I think. Um, this is interesting, very intriguing. Uh, I may do a let's play on this. Uh, I'm not sure when, but at some point, probably. And I'll continue from here then. But for now, this will do. And I'll see you in the next video.